Hi again, Sydney Lanier Pre-K. I'm Mrs. Nelson, the theater teacher here at Sydney Lanier, and it's good to see you. Today, we're going to talk about this crazy weather we've been having, and what can we draw that reminds us of the weather. Well, I don't know if this has been happening at your house, but at my house, it's been raining a lot. I think it rained for two or three days in a row. So I'm gonna make a piece of art that captures how I felt when it was raining. So this is easy to do, and I think you can do it with things you already have in your house. I found a piece of paper in a drawer. And I have it right here so you can see what we're going to draw. Next, you should go find a few colors that remind you of the rain. I have blue. I have black. And I'm going to use my black very lightly so it looks gray. Or you could just find a gray crayon if you want. I'm also going to find yellow because the yellow makes me feel very happy even when it's raining. Now there's one more supply that you're going to need that's a little bit weird, but I bet you have it with you right now. I'm going to show you where mine is. Give me one second, it's right down here, right near the floor. <clears throat> Got it. This is the next supply you need. It's a shoe. How are we going to use a shoe to help us paint a picture about the rain? Well, let me show you. First, take your darkest crayon. I'm going to use black. Put your shoe about halfway up in the middle of your paper. And I'm going to draw around the top of my shoe. I'm going to draw it darker so you can see it. It's an upside down U. I'm going to use my dark crayon again and right above that. I'm going to draw a nice dark wavy line. And that wavy line is going to be my cloud. Now you can take any color that reminds you of the cloud. Maybe it's blue, maybe it's that black crayon you already had, or maybe you even have a gray, like a dark storm cloud. And you're going to fill in your cloud. Have fun. Maybe sing yourself a little song while you're drawing. There's a nice stormy rain cloud. And you can go back over it as many times as you want until you make it the color that you want. And then I'm going to use my black, my dark colors, to make big raindrops. A raindrop. You can draw as many raindrops as you want, big, fat raindrops, or maybe many, many small, little raindrops like a sprinkle or a bit. Now I bet you want to know why I traced the outside of my shoe. Well, that's going to become my umbrella. I drew a line to connect each side of my shoe, and I'm going to paint my umbrella, color my umbrella yellow. You can even take other colors, maybe like green, and make your umbrella as pretty as you like. And underneath, take 
your favorite color. Mine today has been black. And draw two sticks with a foot. The sticks represent your legs. So guess who that is? It's you standing under the umbrella. All we need to finish off our painting is our favorite color for rain. Blue or gray. You could use pink. Whatever your imagination says. Don't forget, when you're done, to put your name on the bottom and give it to your mom to hang on the fruit. You guys did a great job today. Keep this picture with you, a picture of how it feels when it's raining. We'll see you next time. Bye.